Dining experiences in the UK are already beginning to feel the effects of lockdown and many are working out ways of adjusting to life when they're able to welcome customers to their tables again. The UK's hospitality sector has taken a dramatic financial hit since being ordered to close in March and the sector is forecast to be one of the last to return to normal service. Michelin-starred London-based chef Andrew Wong is having to draw on all of his experience to future-proof his craft moving forward. What we'll see is restaurants no longer being just kind of temples of, of gastronomy where people come from all over the world, but really restaurants going out into the world to, to basically um, show what they do. He thinks more improvisation is on the cards for himself and fellow restaurateurs, but there's no telling how the measures may affect the dining experience. They're the restaurants who will really have to hit the numbers um, with their alternative services, uh, being takeaway or food, um, food cook at home packages. I think that they, there is no other way for them as a business model to really work. Employing 2.9 million people in the UK alone, the broader hospitality sector is facing an existential threat if it cannot incorporate social distancing rules to tightly packed restaurants that serve lots of meals just to cover their costs. Due to the narrow margins in the industry, chairman of Think Hospitality Group James Robson says that reducing dining space may ultimately hit restaurants' profitability. The majority are going to be trading sub-economically sub for the mo most of this year from what we can see. I think that almost certainly there's going to be need a continued government support. Until the industry gets a chance to see what might be on the menu for the future, it's going to have to cook up something special to make sure patrons don't go hungry.